Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the calculus. Today we will discuss about the continuity of the several variables. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapra Institute. So we all know that how you can check the limits or continuity of the one dimension function like of this. We, how you can check that? You can simply see, you can check the limits. If you want to check the function continuous at a point x a, then you have to check the left hand limit, right hand limit, both must be equal and equal to the function value. If this is true, then the functions are continuous. But here you can see there is only one variable as a x. But objective of this lecture is to explain how you can check the continuity of the several variables like of the x comma y. How you can check the functions, whether the function is continuous or not. There is a very simple task about that. Firstly, what is the definition is? A function f of x, y is said to be the continuous. First of all, it should be the defined limit exists how you can check that whether the limit is exist or not that we will discuss in our last class that is a limit of the several variable you can check the description part or else see the i button link here you can see the limit of the several variable where we have discussed about the two path test to check whether the limit is exist or not and the third property is if the limit exists and it should be equal to the functions value if these three properties are satisfied then you can say the function is continuous Another way, you can also check the function is continuous whenever you want to start with the x minus x0, if at the point x, function x minus x0, y minus y0, if the distance between the function is less than of this epsilon, then you can say the fun function f of x, y is continuous. So we can see there are two different definitions are there. We can uh, categorize our lecture into the two types. The first type is when the question will ask you you have to check whether the function is continuous or not. Second type is when the question will ask you, you have to prove that the function is continuous like of this. You can see in this question one, they are asking you check whether the function is continuous or not. While in this question, you have to prove that it's a function is continuous or not. So it means this is my type two. This is my type one. Whenever there is a type one questions are there, we will apply these definitions. And whenever there is a type 2, that is whether you want to prove that function is continuous or not, you have to apply the type 2, uh, that is the this definitions are there. We will uh, uh, explain you with the help of the 12 numerical examples so that you may understand it very easily. So if you uh, look about these two examples, the first example will show you check whether, check whether the function is continuous or not. Second is you have to prove that. It means this is my type 2 this is my type 1 so we will start with the type 1 firstly so what you can do is whenever there is a type 1 category you have always choose the path or you can always choose the curve or you can always choose the line how you can do that that's a very simple what you can do you can take this denominator part as a 0 and find the value of the y from here yeah. in magnitude find the value of the y in magnitude so you can see y square is nothing but my x square so y is nothing but my x now since this is the one line that's a straight line but we all know that y is equal to 2x is also with a straight line 3x also the straight line so in general y is equal to mx so we can take the line y is equal to mx and substitute the value of the y is equal to mx in here so you can see i can substitute y is here and we will see whether this limit exists or not remember that that how you can check the limit exists we will see in our last class also but anyhow i can explain you again so if you take x square as a common and it will cancel out you can see the limit is my here because this limit this function is independent of the x so when you take x is zero it will comes here now you all know that what is the value of the m m is nothing but my real number so for the different value of the m, if you choose m is 1, the answer will be my sine of 1 by 2. Otherwise, if you take m is my 2, then the answer will be my 2 upon 5 and so on. So you can see for the different value of the m, it has different answers. So it means the limit does not exist. So once the limit does not exist, the function is not continuous. So remember that whenever you want to prove that the function is continuous, you have to firstly prove the limit exists but it limit does not exist hence the function is not continuous 
on the second side this is my type 2 exercise so how you can prove that that's a very simple we always start with this is let epsilon be greater than 0 be a given such that since our target is to check the x is non-zero so y can be any of the things y can be 0 or y cannot be 0 because there is no restriction on the y so since we are talking about the 0 here so it means x minus x 0 is less than of some number y minus y 0 is less than of here then we can start with this part i have taken the 0 comma 0 so it's a 0 comma 0 and our target is to prove it's a less than epsilon or not so i can substitute this value as y sine 1 by x when x is 0 you can see whenever x is 0 the answer will be my 0 so you can see this is nothing but my sign of here now we all know that what is the value of the mode of x y it is nothing but my mod x into mod of y so you can write like this we all know that this value what is the absolute value of the sign of the function it is always be less than or equal to 1 so i can write this number as of here now since mod of y you can see mod of y is strictly less than delta now it is here so since this number is my independent of x and y so i can consider this as epsilon so we can start with here we can reach as less than of the epsilon whenever this property therefore the function is uh, continuous and its value is my whatever the value of the f of 0 0 is my here so the function is continuous now you can see show that the function is discontinuous so it means you have to prove that it is my type 1 the function is discontinuous whenever you want to prove that it's a discontinuous you always choose the path so what you can do is you can take the denominator part as a 0 find the value of the y y is nothing but x so i can take as a mx or if you want to take from this side you can take x square plus y4 minus x is 0 you can find this value as of m x square i can substitute this value here and we will see whether the limit exists or not so if you substitute this value so you can see x square will be cancelled out so the remaining part will be nothing but my here as you see for the different value of the m it has a different answers so you can see limit does not exist so if limit does not exist it means the function is not continuous or you can see the function is discontinuous similarly here you have to show that the function is discontinuous so we can take the path as y is equal to mx substitute this value here you will get again the function which are dependent on the values of the m so for the different value of the m it has the different answers so it means the limit does not exist so once the limit does not exist it means the function is not continuous look at again here next question is this function is discontinuous function is discontinuous so you can apply the type 1 here type 1 here so how you can do that so you can take the denominator part as a 0 and try to find the value of the y from here this is my 0 so i can find the value of the y4 as of here or you can say y is nothing but this so i can take this value as of m so this is my path i can take the path as y is equal to this substitute this value here we can see x6 will be cancelled out this part is here so whenever x is 0 it will here. again this is dependent on the m for the different value of the m it has the different answers so it means the limit does not exist at the 0 comma 0 function is not continuous or discontinuous similarly for here you can see this is nothing but y is equal to mx substitute the value here you will get this one again you can see this value is dependent on the m so the limit does not exist so function is not continuous or function is discontinuous again they are talking about discuss the continuity so it means the function either the function is continuous or discontinuous so it means this is my type 1 type 2 remember that the type 2 is always when you want to prove that the function is continuous whenever they are asked that proof that the function is continuous then only say type 2 again here the function is continuity discuss the continuity so we can consider this as a type 1 so how you can do that 
so since the fun discuss the continuity of the function at the origin so we can consider as a type one but here you can see there is no denominator part is there so we can apply here as a type two so we can take let epsilon be greater than zero be given such that this value be hold so we can start with the value of the f x y minus here y is zero not zero what is the value of this is nothing but my sin x and sin of one by y minus you can see this value y is my zero so whenever y is zero function is my zero so we now here we all know that what is the value of the mod of a b it is always equal to mod a mod b we all know that what is the sign of whenever x approaches zero oh sorry y is zero so what you can do that this value is always be less than one so you can write here and we all know that mod of the sin x is always be less than of the x so i can write like of this so mod of x is nothing but you can see is a delta which is independent of the x and y we can take an as epsilon so therefore this value is less than epsilon hence limit exist and whenever the limit exists it must be equal to the f 0 comma 0 what is the value of the f 0 comma 0 it's my 0 so that is limit is here this limit is existence and it's a 0 so the function is continuous again we can see about here again we can start with this one discuss the continuity or you can take as a y is equal to mx so you can see if i take y is equal to mx path here and if we substitute the value here what is the answer of this so you can see it's x cube minus m cube x cube upon x square plus m square x square so you can take x square as a common so it will be my of this so whenever you take the limit as x approaches 0 it's a 0 so what is the meaning of that you can see it's a finite but what is the meaning of that if it is a finite then you can't say about the existence of the limit because it's a finite so it means we can't say the existence of the limit so whenever there is we can't say the limit so we have to apply the type 2 again here so that's why i started with the type 2 here so we can substitute the value we can write like here i can take it as a separately this way what is the value of the f 0 comma 0 you can see it's a 0 i can write this part as of x separately x square upon x square plus y square and here i can write as a y and y square upon this part now i can see this value what is the again i can write this as mod of this and mod of here plus similarly for this second part i can write as a y y square upon x square plus y square now clearly sees that x square upon x square plus y square is always be less than 1 similarly y square upon y square plus x square is always be less than or equal to 1 so what is the meaning of that it means this part will always be less than of the one this part is always be less than of the one so i can write this value as of like of this now what is the mod of x it is nothing but my delta less than delta plus this is less than so it will be my 2 delta i can consider this as upside hence this this condition holds therefore the limit exists and the function is continuous again you have to show that so it means if you want to show it means this is nothing but my type 2 again you have to show that it means this is nothing but my type 2 so we can start with the definition of here again we can substitute this value now i can write this xy in terms of here or you can also write like this way x square upon x square plus y square that's the same thing are there now we all knows that what is the value of this x square upon x square plus y square is less than 1 so the square root of this is always be root of 1 it's 1 so this value and this value both are less than of the 1 and this is nothing but the mod x mod x is nothing but delta which is upside therefore the function is continuous and the value is my 0 again for here we can start with the definition of this we can substitute here now you can again see x square minus y square upon x square plus y square is always be less than 1 so what is the meaning of that this is less than 1 this value is my delta this value is my delta so it is nothing but the upside hence the function is continuous and the function value is my 0 
So this is the way you can solve the function is continuous or not by using a type 1 and a type 2. We will see in our next class how you can check the derivatives of their several variable. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Like, share and comments on these videos. Best of luck. Happy learning.